playing a Polotol from polotol.com and I'm gonna show you tonight uh, uh, a new wine uh, skin tutorial and that's about uh, how to change the desktop integration tab um, in the wrapper. Now, the reason why I make this video is very often it's that uh, when you install a game and you uh, just see when you start the game just a few bounces uh, of the icon in the dock and then nothing happens or uh, that you have trouble in game it might be all be the reason um, that you didn't set the desktop integration tab in the wrapper and what's the desktop integration tab well that's the um, um, the path to your home folder where wineskin looks at um, for example, um, when you start a game, uh, and many times the game tries to create a profile. And if the wrapper can't write um, uh, the, the profile somewhere, uh, or the path is wrong, then it can't create a profile and then the game stops. So that's the main reason why there's a desktop integration tab. And that should be set to your home folder. Because I create those wrappers, most of the time, or almost all the time, it is standard set to the uh, home folder of my computer. Well, that's not the meaning, because it has to be the path to your home folder. Normally, when you... Um, starts start the DMG file or starts the wrapper um, though has uh, and though is that's from the uh, wineskin um, the wineskin developer um, created a uh, fix for that because otherwise you have to do it every time manually um, create a fix for that that when you open the wrapper for the first time it will ask uh, well for permissions to set it to your home folder um, well we will try this out if you double if this is just a wrapper um, imagine that is the wrapper that you have uh, have downloaded and you move to the desktop let's see what happens if you double click it here it says are you sure you want to open it and he says, sure, I want to open it. Then you get this. Then you have to check if you go to advanced. But this is an older version of uh, uh, Wineskin of 2.5. Um, then you go to the tools. And you go to Wine CFG. And you have to check uh, when it's opening. Here you see the wine configuration. And in this tab, as you can see, desktop integration tab, you can set your home folder. So, what you have to change, and what's the most important one, oops, ah, I can't just make this bigger, and that's the My Documents. So you have to change this for your part. So what you have to do is you click this one on, and you go to uh, Users, and that's you. This is my profile, your Paul. And then you go to your, well, what you will say, Documents. here so you have to set those stuff for every well every part for every part of stuff this is not important the most important thing is this one my documents so if you have this then most stuff is all okay click apply and you click okay So, when that's done, 
we would recheck if everything is set. We go back to Wine CFG. We go back to Desktop Integration tab, and you see that it still is set to the Yo Paul documents. All right. Well, that's about it. So if if that is set. Then for games like Company of Heroes, you will see here. I don't know how much time. Company of Heroes. I put it for. Go back to Wine Skin. We go to Advanced. We go to uh, Tools. And we go to Wine CFG. You see here the Desktop Integration tab goes to refers to uses your Paul here, the My Documents. So if we go here to the My Documents, My Documents, then um, Company of Heroes creates a profile in the My Games in your Documents folder. Where is my games? Uh, my games. Company. I think it's a relic or something. Horizon Games. What was it? You see here all the settings and stuff. So this is important to set your home folder to the uh, well, the desktop integration tab is set uh, correctly. So otherwise, if that thing is not set, it can create that profile, and the game won't start. So, for example, I will sh check you uh, for you uh, one second. Uh, I will say, um, take this one. Let's say, grab a desktop integration tab. This, this is the right one, right? The reporting. Yeah, yeah, it's the correct, correct. So if you go to desktop integration tab and I change this to my documents and I say uh, user and then I say um, blah, 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 apply. Let's see if this can. It is not stupid, so it probably puts it back. Yeah. Uh. Ah, that's perhaps good. If I do this on here, games, apply, okay. So if I go do this, I put my external hard drive off, it'll probably just bounce. I'll try to. Uh, See it's still there. Yeah, all right. So let's see what it happens now if I start the game. If I double click the game now, what will happen? You see? Nothing. Double click. I want to start the game. And it just disappears. Why? Because you can't create a profile. So, when I put this 
back again. Advanced, Tools, CFG, Desktop Integration tab, and then you say, whoa, that's wrong. You put it back to Users, Yopal, Apply, okay. Let's see what happens now. Quit. Now you will see it will start. So, I wanted to show you tonight that how to change it. So again, show package content, the wine skin, advanced tools, wine CFG, desktop integration tab, and change it. Create this thingy here, and then put it here and click apply. Apply. Okay. Yes. All right. This fixes a lot of stuff, especially like for games like uh, Need for Speed World, uh, Company of Heroes, Tons of Crashes, etc. Well, well, <coughs> that's about it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you back on Polytolica. If you love the work you do, you can always donate to my website, become a premium member. And uh, well, enjoy the games, and you enjoy Polytolica. And uh, questions, whatever, you can uh, put it on the forums or email me. And uh, see you back on Polytolica. Bye bye.